The question is why I'm using NetBeans. So one of the reasons is easy installation and setup. So basically you only have to click the download button and download the, um, in my case, mostly the Java edition, which comes what, with everything I really need for my daily work. So there is no plugins or uh, configuration required afterwards. I usually use the uh, development build, so you can see it comes with Glassfish 4.0 and the development builds already with Glassfish 4.1, which is more interesting for my daily work. So, and after clicking download, I would just get a, a, a DMG on Mac or EXA on, on Windows. And after double clicking it, it installs the um, NetBeans without asking any further questions. So it just um, install not only NetBeans, but your application server as well. So after installation, you can easily start the uh, IDE. And uh, yeah, startup is fast. And um, after starting, you see here um, that um, I have set up here a projects group. What project groups is, you can you can create an uh, arbitrary any any set of projects you like or work fre frequently on it. So junk is usually my presentations are my presentations. Um, files is the file perspective. Um, w what it actually means is you will see the actual contents of a project, um, uh, and this is more or less a project view. So some 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 files are not shown. And services it comes with um, with a pre built database. So pre uh, this is Derby. So I can connect to the database right away, uh, the sample database, and just you know browse the tables and uh, view the data and even modify the database. It's a nice database viewer built in. Then uh, web services, as so I more or less uh, point us to uh, services on the web. You can use it for, 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 for examples. Service, it uh, usually comes with Glassfish. And um, so I can uh, start the Glassfish, I can open the admin console, server log, and in the update center. You get similar support for, for other application servers like Tommy, Tomcat, or um, Whitefly. There's a nice Whitefly plugin and, and WebLogic. So uh, Maven repositories, so the same. I have um, local Maven and, and Maven Central. So I can browse the repositories. Also very useful cloud. You could uh, add a cloud provider like uh, Amazon Beanstalk, for instance. Um, Hudson Builders, um, even more uh, interesting for, for my projects. What I usually do, I, um, I uh, point here to Jenkins and, and see the, my, my progress. Task repositories, you can set up uh, Jira or Baxilla and uh, test driver, you can start from here, your, for instance, your Karma test. So, um, so why, why I actually am using NetBeans? Because uh, I can, it can save a lot of time for setup and configuration and even more important, uh, NetBeans is uh, interoperable between team members without um, any further configuration because there are actually uh, or effectively uh, n uh, no plugins required for Java E and Java SE work. You get everything out of the box, uh, out of the box so it is, is um, compatible. And it, it becomes even more important for my workshops because you know the attendees come from all over the world and um, I cannot just expect everyone to install uh, you know a magnitude of plugins before the show. So they, if, they, if they like, they can just download NetBeans, double click on it, and we can hack together an application. So thank you for watching and see you in one of upcoming uh, conferences, workshops, or even hacks, air hacks, and on the next episode, why NetBeans works. Not only works, why NetBeans rocks. Okay, thanks. <laughs>